Beef cattle generate $500 million a year in Tennessee. At UT's Highland Rim Research and Education Center, scientists look for ways to boost pregnancy rates with cattle. We think about the researchers, they're our clients, but also our ultimate clients are, of course, the producers, but also the, the consumers of the, of the products, the, the steaks and the hamburgers. UT experts say one way to increase reproductive health is through embryo transfers, and here they're working with a hormone called prostaglandin. To greatly simplify things, there's good prostaglandin and bad. Obviously, researchers want to keep one and eliminate the other. Basically, the embryo, the early embryo, has receptors for prostaglandin, and what happens is the prostaglandin will bind to those receptors and cause the embryo to be developmentally retarded. Beef producers can expect typical success rates of 40 to 70 percent with most embryo transfers. But if you could increase that by another 10 percent, which is what UT researchers did, then the economic impact is tremendous. Past reproductive research mainly looked at females, but now scientists are focusing more on bulls and steers and their overall health. A key issue here is what the males eat. Kentucky 31 is a type of grass that's common statewide, but it can contain toxins that reduce the fertility of bulls. UT researchers have done studies here at Highland Rim that show replacing that fescue with another called Max-Q can help fertility. In the case that a producer might have some acres or some pastures that he needs to renovate, then yeah, Max-Q might be an option for him. One management issue for farmers here, Max-Q is like candy to a bull or steer. The uh, thing we have to caution producers on, it's going to require more management because cattle love to eat this. They don't particularly like to eat Kentucky 31 infected fescue. So our data indicates that uh, you need to plan on those cattle consuming about 25 percent more. Whether through embryo transfers or a carefully monitored diet, like many aspects of agriculture, beef production is changing with technology. It would seem the days of just turning cattle loose and letting them graze are long gone. This is Chuck Denny reporting.